Okay, so I'm on the page for impromptu speech. Okay, so state, start recording. State the following on camera. Okay, so I do not know the topic for this speech. I'm about to deliver. I'm going to get my topic now. And this is the first and only time I'm recording this video. Go to, all right, write speeches. Generate three, number of speech topics generate three. Okay, I got gentrification, surrogate mothers, and blues music. Okay, so as it sounds, I don't know what that first one is. Surrogate mothers. I can always talk about my kids. Um, and blues music. I know a lot about music, but I did that on my last practice speech. So, surrogate, I could talk about being a surrogate versus adoption, parents. I'm gonna go with surrogate mothers just because I'm a mom and I know a woman who is a surrogate. Um, and then also my mom's adopted, so maybe I can tie that into it somehow. There's other ways to become a parent versus okay, yeah, I think I'll I, I think I'm gonna stick with that. Surrogate mothers, okay, so Go. It's almost at two minutes on my video, so I'm going to start right at the two minute mark. So I've got seven seconds. And then, surrogate mothers. Okay, and I am starting two. Okay, so at five, I'll be done. Okay. Attention gainer, main point. Okay. I'm going on my review right now, preview of main points. Okay, so um, reveal topic. Okay, so let's do the. Surrogate versus adoption, maybe? Uh, like different ways to have um, to have kids. Um, okay, so my first main point, well then to be a surrogate, maybe what that means. Um, okay, so it's basically artificial insemination. Uh, from the father to a um, to a woman who can have children, and then example, I can talk about my friend Grace, who is actually a surrogate. Kind of her testimony. Um, And then ad adoption. Um, you could talk about. Um, I did. Uh, I used to work around the NICU and like cancer patients, but I've also been in um, worked in a in the NICU, uh, literally holding babies who are addicted. Um, maybe I could somehow tie that into it. So, okay, so adoption, um, so many options. Um, maybe like babies don't choose their parents possibly. Um, Okay, um, and then lots of children in need. Um, if you maybe aren't a parent, you could volunteer. Um, maybe children are future somewhere in there. Basically, um, tie back, um, so many options, options, um, uh, maybe attention getter, uh, 
So many options. Um, attention getter. Um, as a kid, grow up. Um, um, get married. Shoot, only have 20 seconds. Um, I want to start a life, but I need to. Okay. I've got about 10 more seconds. Um, okay. okay, I think I've got enough here. Okay. Okay, so my time's up. Okay. So growing up, we usually go to school. Some of us go to college. Some of us get married. Um, and then eventually in some, um, in some people's lives, they want to start a family and grow this life together with the one that they love um, and never do we really think about um, what all that takes or the um, troubles people have um, getting pregnant and being able to carry a baby but can you imagine walking into a doctor's office with your husband or your wife and you sit down with a doctor and you hear news that either the wife or the husband is unable to have children. I can't imagine the kind of conversation, the kind of um, just overwhelming um, news this would, this would be to a family who's dreamed about this their entire life of doing this, you know, starting this life together um, and feeling like the world is just crashing down in on them. As a mother um, of three wonderful kids that I had myself with my husband, um, I I feel for these individuals, and I and I can't imagine what they what they go through. Um, but today in this world, we have so many options to be able to be a parent or be a role model um, or grow a family, um, such as becoming a surrogate or having a surrogate um, or even adoption. So first I want to talk about um, what a surrogate is. Um, a, sur a surrogate is basically um, artificial insemination. So the um, father's sperm is being used into a woman who is able to have children. Um, and they, um, that surrogate actually carries the baby full term. And then once the baby is born, then that baby is taken to the father and the mother. Um, there are some beautiful souls that do this, this type of thing. And, um, my, actually my friend, um, Grace is, um, a woman that I met back in Texas when my husband and I were stationed there. Um, she was actually a surrogate, um, and had done two different families and it was just such a, um, a blessing to be able to encounter and see, um, the lives that she was actually changing um, and being able to give a baby to a family who couldn't have it themselves. And I know this this route isn't, isn't for everybody, um, but it is an option. And then another option um, is being adoption. So there's so many babies in this world um, that are born into this life of poverty and addiction and family problems that really have no hope for the future. And as kids, we, you know, we don't get to choose our parents, although some are in perfect worlds where they have the perfect family and perfect growing up and don't have to worry about where their food is coming from or where they can, um, or where um, a house over their head is a struggling issue. And it's just so sad to encounter these kids that have all of the weight of the world on top of them. Um, so if we could open our eyes, um, to these children in need that aren't necessarily as privileged as us, we could really make the world a better place and the children, I, I mean, they're our future. So, um, 
this is another great option. Uh, not necessarily. Um, we, uh, my mom actually was adopted. Um, she was one of 10 kids and she was actually the only one who was put up for adoption for a long time. She didn't know this. Um, she, uh, struggled with it for a long time, but then when we actually went and met the family, it was, um, all of them were drug addicts or they were stealing from things or they were in jail. And, um, to be able to experience that, to see how her mom basically gave her a future that she was, um, that my grandmother, um, was able to her adoptive mom was able to give to her was just such a beautiful thing and to be able to experience firsthand. Um, so parents out there who are feeling hopeless, um, and have had this conversation with their doctor, I want us to open our eyes that there's so many other options out there, whether they come from your body or they come from someone else's body. Um, you can still make a family, um, no matter if they're, if they're yours or not. And we can really just change the world and um, be a light in someone's in life and have this family. Um, and even if you're not married or have any kids, um, even volunteering, if this is pulling on your heartstrings, even volunteering, um, there's babies in the NICU that are um, affected by drug addiction. Um, even just going and putting your hands on them and holding them and um, giving them that comfort or or even there's options of being a foster parent or even getting some information or working in that field of placing kids in that home. We can really just um, change the world. Thank you.